Captain's log. Stardate. Is this thing on? Huh, okay. Uh, sorry, Grissom's making me film these now. Probably wishing I was a green chick. Uh, let's see, uh, 4206.9. Uh, I honestly have no idea where my pips went, but I, I think Tesla took them because she's making me talk to the other red shirts who apparently don't die anymore. Harry, how'd you even get this frequency? You're an ensign. I've been a commander for a year, you moron. What? Normally the shrink would be doing these, but uh, she insisted that maybe captains want to talk to other captains, you know, venting, you know, that sort of mental health crap. Uh, plus she said she'd up my paradaxin. So. Yeah, well, uh, about that dinner we had uh, the other night, did you do your little maneuver in, in my chair? Well, yeah, obviously. Damn it, man, I gotta get that clean now. Don't worry, it's not as bad as Picard. Chris, I'm telling you, there's nothing quite like you gazing upon your man boobs in your bed. I feel bad for lying to him about being from Quebec, but he's got this fetish for Canadians and I couldn't help it. Granted, I've been abusing my power a little bit, but I honestly really think Seven of Nine needs to talk to someone. So, uh... What do those, uh, nanoprobes do? Once she's captain, I'm sure she'll reach out, you know. Anything's better than two Kirks. Apologies don't get any easier by the twelfth time you've accidentally traveled to the future. Yeah, well, it, it doesn't help that your counterpart also had to have a mirror universe transporter accident in the process. Oh, come on. He's time traveled so much that he has no natural hair left. Hey, buddy, whatever happened to your Enterprise A? Yes, yeah, shut up. Anyway, yeah, uh, they all have enough baggage to fill an Odyssey class, so uh, I should probably get back to it. Who's next? You have a hail from Q, Captain. 